Welcome to this video about how to proper install catenary lines in your tile. Firstly, and the most important step, is to know the correct heights. There are two set standard heights, it's the best if you use them, but it's not a must. The set standards include one height for trams and one for full-size trains. The catenary height for trams is 22 blocks from the rail, and the height for full-size trains is 25 blocks from the rail. To avoid lags and stuck pantographs, train builders have to set their pantograph one half block below your catenary, so 21, 5 and 24, 5. So, let's start. I will show everything on the tram height, but all steps are basically the same for both height. First, select one of the overhead line assets and position it on the railhead. Now enable grid snap with the shortcut S and drag the asset to your height. When you reach the correct height, rotate the assets like me, this is now your orientation point. There are two ways to lay the catenary, one simple but unrealistic method, and one advanced but realistic method. I will show you both. Let's start with actual building. First, I show the simple method. Again spawn the long overhead line asset, and position it like me in the middle of the track. If you're ready, you can duplicate the asset by holding shift and dragging the asset. Now build a longer way with the asset. Select all assets with STRG plus left mouse click. When you selected all assets, enable grid snap and move them to the height of your orientation height. So, that was the simple method, next, I'm showing the advanced method. Again, spawn a long overhead line asset, and position it like me in the middle of the track. Now rotate it a bit so it looks like in the video. Now duplicate it with STRG plus shift and drag. Rotate the asset in the opposite direction, it should look like this. Repeat that for a longer track. At the end, select all assets with STRG plus left mouse click. When you selected all assets, enable grid snap and move them to the height of your orientation height. In real life this method prevents the catenary to act like a bandsaw. Now that was the realistic method. Let's move to curves. Same procedure as prior. Rotate the asset to stay in your track. Repeat that until you finish the curve, and then select all assets and move them to your height. The same applies to switches. Now your catenary should fly in the air, that's why you need boom arms and masts. Set the boom arms every two long overhead line assets and everywhere, where two lines come together. You can always make you boom arm with the properties menu longer or shorter. Same applies for the mask. When you followed my steps correctly, your catenary should look like this, perfect. But if you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord server. Thanks for watching.